Hey ladies, I thought I'd do this one for you today and it's all about our favourite subject, our hormones. Um, no, but seriously, um, this is, as I want to talk to you today about hormones and the effect on vision because I think it is a subject which isn't spoke about nearly enough and a lot of us understand that our hormones can cause mood swing changes in our body water retention headaches and things like that Um, but a lot of us aren't aware that it can also cause some changes in our vision and some eye conditions like dry eyes and things like that so I do want to touch on this today. Now there are various points in a woman's life where hormones can have more of an effect on us than at other times and those times are puberty, um, our menstrual cycle, so each month when we come on our periods, um, pregnancy, um, perimenopause and also menopause. So these are key points in our lives when our hormones can have more significant effects on our eyes and on visual changes. So during puberty, this is when a young girl is first has an influx of estrogen and these high levels of estrogen can cause changes in her body, um, changes in her moods and it can also, and, and growth, and but also it can cause her eyeballs to lengthen. So this is a time when a young girl can start to become more short-sighted. Um, And then we go into our monthly cycles. So each month, the woman will come on her period, usually once every 28 to every once every 28 days, it can be up to 36 days. Um, And during a period, there are elevated levels of estrogen and this can cause water retention which can cause an inflammation of the cornea and fluctuating levels of vision you can also get watery eyes dry eyes and just generally uncomfortable eyes during um, your monthly period and also headaches and migraines and things like that are quite common during this time as well so then we have pregnancy. Now, during pregnancy, a woman's hormones can really kind of fluctuate, but they're generally at quite higher levels than normal. And again, this can cause inflammation of the cornea, fluctuations of vision, and also in some women, really quite big changes of prescription, which generally, once she's given birth, can go back to a more normal level. So women can find they have, cha- you know, their, their glasses prescription can change during pregnancy pregnancy and then go back to normal afterwards. Then we go through a stage in our life called the perimenopause, which this is a transition into menopause, which is when our periods stop completely. And this perimenopausal stage usually is in our sort of early to mid 40s. And it typically starts with um, the the menstrual cycles get closer together our periods get heavier we can experience much more intense mood swings and anxiety and things like that during that perimenopausal stage because our hormones are kind of in those early stages really just going all over the place and that can cause our vision to sort of go all over the place as well and you can get things like dizziness and blurred vision and fluctuating vision dry eyes and things like that during that perimenopausal stage and then we move on as women into that menopause and this is when our levels of hormones really drop so we get a much lower lower levels of estrogen and also testosterone and this can often cause our hair to get thinner, our skin to get thinner and drier. And it can also cause our eyes to go very, very dry as well. So it's not uncommon for over 60% of women, I think the stats are, do get very dry eyes or dry eye syndrome after the age of 50 due to that low level of estrogen and also generally in our lives estrogen just does have quite a protective effect on us so when that estrogen levels drop it also puts us women at more at risk of heart problems and things like that but also um eye diseases like glaucoma, macular degeneration and cataracts. So it is very, very important as women to make sure that we are having regular eye tests so those things can get picked up and treated as soon as possible. Now, luckily, there are some things that we can do um, 
to help ease the symptoms of some of our pesky hormones. And the number one thing that we can really do is get a really good, healthy diet, um, drinking plenty of water as that can help with dry eyes, eating a diet rich in anti-inflammatory foods, so things like berries and broccoli and our lots of green leafy you know a rainbow diet full of fruit and vegetables is great and really avoiding those inflammatory foods which are high sugar or um highly processed foods and things like that we want to really kind of avoid those if our eyes are particularly dry, you can take drops such as artificial tears, preservative free are often best, but you can use artificial tears four or five times a day just to help keep the eye nice and lubricated. Or if you notice your dry eye is at specific points of your menstrual cycle, for example, when you're on a period, those dry eye drops you can use just at certain points in your cycle to help ease your vision and make things more comfortable. If you're in the menopause and your eyes are particularly dry and, and, and gritty, dry eye drops combined with like a humidifier in your um, bedroom at night can really be helpful as well because that just puts moisture back into the air and that can help your eyes. So I hope you've enjoyed this little series today on hormones and eyes. And it is important to get your eyes um, checked regularly and just think about you know if you come to your optometrist if you're suffering with blurry vision and things like that try and think whether it could be related to um your menstrual cycle and things like that and just try and make notes of when particularly your eyes are feeling gritty and sore and when you're suffering those fluctuations in vision so i do hope this has helped you um, and thank you very much for watching and if you have enjoyed this video do subscribe to our channel style optique tv where we will have other eye health tips and also eyewear styling tips as well so that you not only see well but you also look great and feel great in your glasses too